Are you ready, sir? Okay. I am ready. Here we sir. go. You guys know that we have a special relationship with Jet Up Terror that we have not fully utilized. And the fact of the matter is that we've been watching them for a while now. <clears throat> and we have come across some other news recently. This dates actually back to February. The fact yep. that February 22nd, 2022, Jet Up Terror gets selected for the F Works, a high speed VTOL concept challenge. And we knew that this was coming, right? We, we knew that this was yeah. one of the things that they were looking forward to. We knew that they had a high-speed version that was coming out. Um, we didn't really elaborate too much at the time because we didn't know what it looked like. We didn't know what they were preparing themselves for. But if you scroll on down through this selection, we actually have a visual now. There's a lot of 11 other mm -hmm. companies, I think, were, down, were selected as well. Yep. But yep. we have a vision of what the new Jet of Terra high-speed VTOL will look like. Here it is, right? And that's great for them because they're using the Phletic Propulsive System. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they've, now they've partnered with Northrop Grumman. Perfect, you know, great partnership right there. And they're on board to do fantastic things. But there's another part to this story. And the part to this story that we really want to pay attention to is that they actually have now jumped back in to the funding process with, with their... Yep. Uh, now they're on engine start. Okay. Now, we, we can't say more than enough about how much we speculate that these guys will be the front runners in the EV toll market. They've got 53 patents now and 120 patents pending. We know that they've gone through some excellent sound tests. They are collaborating with GE, Honeywell, Pratt & Whitney, Northrop Grumman, right? We still them have them as being the revolutionary step <clears throat> in, EV, in the EV toll marketplace, for sure, bar none. But here's the next thing. They got themselves a brand new shiny toy. Okay, and this mm -hmm. toy is here to build up that speculation of what they're going to be able to do in the future marketplace. And with that, I'm going to kick it off to Corey because he can tell you what they posted recently. Go ahead. Take it away, Corey. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. So basically what I was doing, I was just um, cruising around and saw that um, uh, that Jet Up Terror had posted on their LinkedIn, which I follow. And we, we, and we communicate with them over there as well, that they have just uh, received a new briny, a shiny new turbine mm. uh, from TurboTech. It's called the TPR90. And so basically, uh, obviously, I had to do a little bit of research on this and, and get, the, get the scoop. Um, basically, it's the first low fuel bird regenerative light turboprop. Uh, so basically, to give you kind of an idea, this, is, this, uh, this package is about 80 pounds mm -hmm. or 80 kilograms. Uh, if you kind of look at some look around, you'll notice that for light turbines, that's a bit, a little bit heavier than some light turboprops that might be kind of in the same output. Uh, but what what you're getting is you're getting a heat exchanger, so it is a little bit, uh, a little more weight. But what you're doing is you're saving on on efficiency. So if he, he Mike's got the thing there on yeah, the screen yeah. too. So basically, what, uh, yeah. So what you're getting is. Um, uh, a full FADEC uh, TBO or time before overhaul, 3,000 hours, so way better than any piston of a similar mm -hmm. size or, or output. Um, they also say polyfuels, so use a bunch of different types of fuels in there. Uh, they say low emissions, and they also say ultra quiet signature, uh -oh. which is we think is pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, because obviously application and uh, we know Jet Terra has uh, been doing a lot of work in keeping the uh, acoustic signature down on their on the vehicles. Um, and also just wanted to point out one uh, one other thing too here. I was on uh, just kind of perusing there also and Andre over at Jet Up Terra, who was helping on the LinkedIn page there, of course, uh, posted that uh, the simplest way to explain this regen turbine is it basically is going to save up about 30% of fuel compared to other non-regen mm. engines of a similar size. So yeah, a little bit heavier weight because of the heat exchanger, but you're getting 30% better efficiency uh, for lower fuel consumption. So right up, that was perfect. That's yeah. awesome. Okay. And so, yeah. look, this, you know, Jet Up Terra, their homepage really hasn't changed much over time. And that's because these guys have been, have been in the process of having their flying. So, look, they've <laughs> taken their fluidic propulsive system a step further than most other people because they have proven the concept that this will work time and time again. You can go out on YouTube, you can see the videos of it, right? And we still pick these guys to make that journey from the investment phase into the phase of actual FAA flying. They, they assume now 2024 to be in the prototype and 2026 to be FAA certified, <clears throat> right? That's directly off the uh, the start engine page, right? Look, we we were featured on their previous funding pages on WeFund, uh, and we were yep. grateful for that because we we kind of, we know how to interpret what their technology means to the industry. We cannot stress enough that if you've ever been a pilot in normal aviation, you have touched something from GE Aviation. You have touched products from Honeywell often. Yep. 
you have yeah. experience with Pratt and yeah, yeah. Profit products, and Northrop Grumman is a great backer towards their development. And now with the engine that seemingly would be the glue to put all this together, they're like the perfect package. I, I don't see them missing the mark on this. Right. Yeah, I mean, um, especially being uh, still front runners in the Air Force Works Challenge, I, mean, I know that uh, there's that's still kind of an ongoing process and there's some more phases coming with that. But basically, um, the end of phase one, moving to phase two, should be actually this month. Uh, so hopefully maybe get a little more, more news for you guys when that does come mm -hmm. out. Uh, but then uh, when, uh, obviously we would imagine they probably would move to phase two, um, but then moving to phase two in the Air Force Works Challenge, uh, then eventually Air Force, uh, Air Force running the Air Force Works program will be looking for full-scale prototyping, obviously for the military applications. Um, and so um, we... we <laughs> When you go to their their start engine page, of course, there there's um, a bunch of uh, pictures of their previous kind of designs we've mm -hmm. kind of reviewed, and I think that's more along the lines of what you'll probably see in the commercial yes, absolutely. side, air taxi, uh, urban air mobility sector yeah, 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 stuff. For sure. um, but as we've talked about before, yeah, JetUpTerra has got a lot of things going on behind the scenes through Air Force Works, DoD, Navy, um, whole bunch of stuff, and so um, it would only be logical for that that uh, tech to be refined and then move to the commercial and, market which yeah and amazing to boot, awesome. all right they have listed under the turbo tar turbo tech innovations engine that they're <clears> going to use that regenerative finally that that type of turbine right they're saying that mm -hmm. it's going to be ultra quiet now here's the thing jet up terror went into an anechoic chamber before against all competitors and they came out bar none one mm -hmm. of the quietest devices for this type of application and if you look at their actual start engine page, they actually say right then and there, we are 20 to 35 yeah. dBA lower decibels, right? Lower than the quietest propeller. And they are 40 to 50 right. lower than the quietest helicopter, which is which is easy mm -hmm. to do in some cases, right? Um, yeah, helicopters, helicopters are pretty, are pretty, pretty loud. But yeah. the difference is <laughs> what we've also known all along that the flooded propulsive system does not need a ton of horsepower in order to be effective. So if it's the force multiplier that they say true. it is, which we are led to believe it is true because they're using that propulsive system that could be not only evolutionary and revolutionary to multiply the amount of force that's coming out of these centralized turbine units that they're going to use in their propulsive system. And they're, they're making strides that others just can't capitalize on right now, right? And look, all these early flights, we're not taking anything away from these other aircraft that are making early flights because they're making steps yeah. all along yeah. the way. We're just saying that the combination of ultra quiet turbine and the type of system that Jet Up Terror is going for has got the best shot because it's got so many more innovative technologies baked into it from, from the get-go that solve the problems with speed, propellers, uh, other drive units that just lack the finesse that this has. Yeah, I mean, uh, along with that same thing, you know, uh, we keep talking about the acoustic signature. Obviously, that is certainly military applications. But if you've watched our channel long enough, you know, we talk about some of the hurdles to the air taxi market as far as it, it goes with a uh, larger drone or manned or unmanned or on a pilot, mm -hmm. these kind of drones that are going to be intercity or intracity. And of course, one of the things that continuously comes up is not only infrastructure and charging and blah, 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 all that stuff, but where are you going to put these? If yeah, you, sure. There's a reason there's not a bunch of helicopter pads all over all these cities because helicopters can take off and land in very small areas anyway. They've always they've been able to do it for a long time, but they are noisy and people do not like that and um, that's a big problem. So yeah, if uh, Jet Up Terror was certainly um, looking at the right things when they were taking a look at making the acoustics industry come down, not just for sure. military, but you know, sure. civil applications. And lastly, they list a three-part strategy right here on the website now that says our long-term strategy involves three revenue streams from aviation. Number one, licensing technology to military applications, including high-speed VTOL. Number two, making and selling FPS to the, <laughs> to the civilian aircraft for flying cars, air taxis, uh, regional air commuting and commercial drone applications, and finally licensing the fluidic propulsive system for adjacent applications, including including ground, surface, and underwater maritime. Now, here, this is the last part that I'm going to say, and then we're going to get into all the questions and, and chat. These guys are they're they're making the revolutionary steps that we predicted that this is what their strategy is because they've got applications that can work farther into. The okay, do us a favor, like, subscribe, follow. Let us know what you think in the comments below about Jet Up Terra, their future the TurboTech solution that they've involved here. And uh, we want to hear from you guys because, it, yes, we're excited for them. And now, and now there's a ton of chat going on, so we got we to 